What's happening everyone and this time I want to give you a quick tip that has to do something with the App Store. Let's get started with this video right now. Get a house. House is okay, so I recently had an issue because in the past I was using an app, I was using an application which I normally downloaded from the App Store and then I deleted it because I simply didn't think that I needed it anymore. But a couple of months later I decided that I want to get the app back. But no matter how hard I tried to find it in the App Store, I simply couldn't and I didn't know what exactly it was called and what exactly I need to type in to find the app. And even if I got it just a little bit close to it, the App Store didn't seem simply show the app to me. So I was looking for the solution and this is the tip I want to give you. Okay, so if you happen to be in the very same situation and you are trying to find the app that you have deleted in the past but has already been installed on your device, or it doesn't even have to be your device in case you are using the same Apple ID on some other iPhone or iPad or other compatible device, and then you will be able to find the app. So let me show you how you can do it. So you open up the app store the normal way, but you go to this today section and you simply want to find your profile or something that you would see the history of the downloaded apps. So you have to click on your picture, on your profile picture, whatever you want to call it. By the way, if you are new here on this channel and in case you don't want to miss this kind of tips and tricks in the future and also some iOS updates, Apple Watch updates, tips and tricks and stuff like that, definitely click on the subscribe button right now and, and we can continue with the video. Okay, so once you are here, you have to make sure that you click on the purchase. Okay, so here in this section, you have the option to see all of the applications which have been downloaded using your Apple ID. Here at the top, you can see and choose between uh, the all category or you can get uh, to the you can get the apps which were downloaded not on your device so you can click that and you can get it so perhaps you have downloaded something on your iPad or some other device and now you simply want to access it because you are using the same Gmail or the same address the same Apple ID so yeah this is exactly how you can download them and reach them once again but one thing that I want to point out is that if you scroll all the way to the top you have the option to click on the search bar and you can even search and type the name one thing that you can also do in this section is to simply hide the app from this list even though I don't really think that it makes sense because if you decide to hide it you will not be able to find it in the future which doesn't really make sense and it's just counterintuitive I think because you go to this place you go to this list in case you forget about the app that you are trying to get once again so if you delete it from this list that nobody has access to or nobody sees except for you well I wouldn't really recommend you doing that, but it's up to you in case there is an app that you're ashamed of for some reason or something, then hide it. But other than that, you shouldn't really think about hiding these apps. Okay, so I think that this would be it. I don't want to make this video too long for no reason. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I really hope you found this video useful, informative, and, and perhaps you also found the solution if you are trying to find the app that you have used in the past. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button to let me know that you liked it. For more content like this, definitely click on the subscribe button and we see each other in the next video. Peace out, guys.